Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you this product that was sent to me for review and testing. Uh, this product is made by Rayvenge. It's an HT10 Coon Hunters headlight. Uh, just by first appearance, it's pretty stout. It has a, it does have a hard hat inside and is wrapped by uh, camouflage. It has breathers on both sides. The light itself is a four switch light. Very nice. I tested it out already and I'll show you that in a little bit. The battery that it comes with is a rechargeable battery. Recharges and it has a clip on the back. You just slide it on there just like that and the cord goes right in there. You just line up the arrows, goes right down. Switch works just like that. It's a really, really nice light. I like it for any kind of hands-free activities that you might be doing in the dark. It also comes with a extension cable, so if you don't want the battery on the back, it's still pretty comfortable even though there is a, it's, it doesn't weigh a lot, but it's, you know, how you're not balanced enough. But this extension cable will clip onto your belt, and then you can just run the light right down through your sleeve and unhook it onto your belt clip. Works pretty good. It's actually three foot long, so it's plenty long enough to get the battery down and away from uh, the hat itself. It also comes with these really nice, there's no lens changing, but it has a red and a green. Slips right over the cover. Very easy to do. You just pop it on and off at your will. Here's the green and the red. Just slides right on there. Just like that. Comes right off. Nice and easy. No unscrewing. None of that stuff. It also comes with a car charger. Plugs into the old cigarette lighters. So you can charge it up in your vehicle. And let's see. This is an extra clip for when you run the wire down. You can clip that on your belt. Keep the wire from getting in your way. Also, this hat is waterproof. Now, those of you that aren't familiar with the IPX scale, it's a waterproof scale. Zero to eight. Eight being uh, fully submerged in water at any depth that is recommended by the manufacturer. This hat is rated at an IPX6, which means it will take a high stream water from any angle. So, which is pretty decent. So you can hunt with it in the rain, will not affect it one bit. Uh, the light itself is a Cree light bulb and it's 1200 looms. Very bright. When I first uh, took it out, I thought there was something wrong with my flashlight because my flashlight, which is at 800 looms, appeared pretty dim compared to this baby. This thing really lights up and it has four settings. It runs on a two hour run time at high power. And then it progresses, you get the longer life when you don't use it as much. And you can lower it down. It has a test button on the top of the battery, lights up green when it's fully charged, and progresses down to a red when it starts to decrease. And it'll, your light will start to blink three times before it goes out completely. It gives you like 10 more minutes and then you'll know where you're at. So that's it. The light itself hinges up and down. And for wearability, it fits. I was a little bit concerned about the adjustment. There's not a whole lot of adjustment in here, but there's some adjustment in here. And it fits most, most hard heads and most pumpkin heads. Also fits the females. I'll put a model up and uh, show you that it fits them too. It uh, it's really a great light. I love it for hands-free stuff. I can set traps. I can build fires. I can do anything at nighttime with this light. Nice and sturdy on the head. You can turn around. It's not floppy at all. Doesn't weigh a lot. And uh, we're going to go outside and I'll show you how bright this baby is. And uh, I'll see you when I get out there. All right, guys, we're out here tonight. This is the HT10 Coon Hunters Hat Light. And I am on the low mode. There's four settings on this. This is the very first one. There's the second one, third, and the fourth. Now down there, we're looking at 50, 60 yards. They're all my targets down there in the woods. And as you can see, you can see plain as day, this is a 1200 loom light. And uh, if it's raining or not, keep in mind that this hat has a rating of IPX6, which it will take a direct water stream. 
You have to look up in the tree. There's no problem looking up in there. You can see everything you need to see, that's for sure. That tree's about 40 yards away. And that's about it. I'm going to pop on the red lens, which just requires me putting it on. And that's at full. You can still see down there. It's plenty enough to light up the eyes of any kind of canine if that's what you're into. And then there's the green light. And these covers just slip right over the white light. There's no unscrewing or anything like that. The green light is a lot brighter than the red. This is at full power. You got a two hour run time on high power. It has a really nice battery in the back with a test button tells you how low your battery is. And uh, she's looking pretty good, very bright. Alrighty, that's about it. We're gonna go inside and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right guys, so that's it. This had, uh, appears to be pretty awesome. I had not had time to really put it to the test, but uh, first impressions are pretty great. I like the extension cable so you don't have the battery hanging on the back of your head, which always is a great option. These here are the lenses. They just slide right over the front just like that. There's the green and here's the red. Very easy. No one switching, no one screwing or anything like that. And then, the, uh, of course, the extension cable so you can hook the battery onto your belt. It really makes everything easy. This is your car charger. Very simple, nice system, very bright. The brightest light I have right now, as a matter of fact. All the rivets look nice and tight. And uh, it appears to be a pretty solid uh, coon hunter's hat or any kind of hat if you wanted to do any kind of hands-free work. This is, uh, this is pretty awesome. And that's going to be it. That's my review and uh, test on this light. So far, so good. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.